Remember how 97% of all climate scientists agree that climate change is real, it's happening, and it's caused by human activity? Did you ever wonder about that other 3%? Did you ever wonder what alternative hypothesis they all agree on? Well, a new study is out and it shows us that the only thing those 3% of people agree on is that they love doing terrible science that can't be replicated. Seven scientists set out to replicate the most popular studies cited by people who don't believe anthropogenic climate change is happening. And in a new paper published in Theoretical and Applied Climatology, they found that those contrarian studies were rife with cherry picking, statistical flaws, and in some cases, outright physical impossibilities, like a paper that sought to blame climate change on the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn. That is a hypothesis that's basically one step away from blaming global warming on Virgos. Then there was the paper that blamed global warming on the sun and moon, which used a statistical analysis that worked for the 4,000 years they chose to look at, but did not work for the 6,000 years of data that they threw in the garbage because it directly contradicted what they wanted to see. So not only do these contrarian studies not hold up to scientific scrutiny, but they also don't even have any internal consistency. It's not like 97% of climate scientists understand that climate change is real and caused by human activity, and the other 3% believe that it is caused by solar cycles. No, it's 97% understand that it's real and happening, and maybe 1% believe that it's caused by Jupiter, and half a percent believe it's not happening at all, and 1.25% believe it's caused by cats and dogs living together, and another 0.25% are just gonna blame it on social media. Why not? Personally, I wish that more researchers would try to replicate previously published results, even if those results support the consensus. Scientific publishing is unfortunately rife with problems, and many of those problems could be cleared up if we just try to replicate studies. Unfortunately, researchers aren't rewarded for that. Most uh, journals just want to see novel, new research. They don't want to see the same research done again and again, and they certainly don't want to see negative results. All of this leads to a glut of research that never gets looked at a second time. Now, I do think that we can, in general, trust the scientific consensus on climate change, but I would love to see people turn a critical eye on that research as well, because doing so would help us weed out inaccuracies and get a better picture of what the problem is and what our future will look like. Of course, I don't think that this better picture is going to necessarily convince the Republican presidential candidates who don't believe that global warming is even happening. But at the very least, I think that future generations camped out on our mountaintops uh, after the flooding drives them up to higher ground will at least be able to look back and appreciate our scientific rigor.